Hi, this is Miriam Castilla and welcome to the Manifesting Playground for Soulful Women in Business, the place where you get to marry the magical with the practical so you can have more money and more time the easy way without all the extra hustle. Are you the conscious creator of your life or are you the unconscious creator of your life? You see, there's a big difference between the two and most people are completely unconscious. They don't even realize that they are the creators of their life. So they're doing it, but they have zero awareness of it. And when that's how you're operating, it means you're in victim mentality. It means you blame everything else and everyone around you for the things that aren't going the way you'd like them. And you feel a certain level of frustration with life because you're not able to get what you want and you're getting way too many of the wrong things. And of course, the more you keep that up, the worse it gets. But when you move into a space where you are the conscious creator of your life, what happens is number one, you take 100% responsibility, but also you then step into a place of faith where you know and you have an awareness of how things work and you know what your part in that system is and you recognize that the rest of it is reliable trustworthy and will do what it always does and you know that sounds reasonably easy but the tricky bit is actually um, combining that understanding that you have 100 percent responsibility you are the creator and the more you do it consciously the more power you're going to have and at the same time you need to marry that up with that level of faith where this is your part of the process but it is only one step of the bigger system and the rest of it you really need to just hand over and get out of the way and it's this marrying the sense of responsibility with this ability to have faith that is what trips most people up so what really helps you get past that because when you are being told yes i need to take responsibility and i am responsible for every single thing good bad indifferent it's all just me but at the same time you're asked to have faith the thing that gets in the way of that is fear so what helps get past the fear is clarity is a sense of passion is a sense of desire that is so strong that you're willing to prove yourself right that you're willing to stick with it for long enough that it's worth it for you for the outcome because you know what it means to you that you keep doing it until you've proven yourself right enough times that that level of faith just comes effortlessly that you no longer need to kind of get yourself across the line of having that faith or at least being able to act in alignment with somebody who has faith but that you literally just have it and you can let go and completely and utterly relax so it really starts with that clarity a really clear decision as to what is going to be worth it for you you need to be able to tap into that thing deep within you because that is what's going to give you the power and most people have absolutely no idea what it is they truly want and so they lack the power they lack, lack the desire and they lack the staying power to actually stick with something for long enough and to risk maybe being wrong just to prove to themselves that actually no this is what you need to do so this lack of clarity is really interesting because people know what they don't want we're all really good at knowing what we don't want but knowing what we do want whole different story right so once you're clear you know it's worth it you know it's worth the risk and you know it's worth proving yourself right if you can't get to that place then you end up stuck in your head and you end up confused and constantly guessing second guessing yourself and you kind of are running on the spot but once you get really connected and clear on what it is you want you're connected to your heart and that is where you then tap into that beautiful unconscious guidance that helps move you forward because your heart is part of your unconscious mind and when you tune into that place that is when you can access that higher intelligence that inner knowing and all the little whispers and nudges you need to move you forward in that beautiful way it's like your inner guiding gps it's that light in the darkness that moves you forward so that's the place you need to get to 
so that you can get to a place where you prove yourself right and then faith no longer becomes something that you need to work at. It's just something you have. So where do you begin? Well, like I've said a few times now, you begin with clarity. You need to absolutely be clear and 100% connected in your heart as to what's going to be worth it for you. And the best way by far through all the work I've done, through everything I've studied, is by connecting at the unconscious level with your core values. Your core values are those things that really words almost cannot define, but they're what mean everything to you. They are what you will walk through fire for. They are the thing that you will get up in the morning for, that you will keep going for, and that you will be willing to take the risk and face the fear for. And luckily for you, I have actually created a totally free uncover and connect to your core values mini course that you can do in your own time with me right there to guide you. So if you haven't done that yet, or if you haven't done it for a while, I encourage you to click the link in the comments and the description somewhere around this video, depending on where you're watching. And uncover your core values, connect to them at that deep, powerful level, and watch that light that shines in the dark come on brightly and lead the way for you. Enjoy and keep on embracing your beautiful and unlimited potential. Bye.